Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to add leads from Magic Bricks to Google Sheets. So here my objective is every time a new lead is received through Magic Bricks, which is a platform for property buyers and sellers to locate properties of interest on real, then automatically the details of this new lead should be added in my spreadsheet as a new row so that later on I can nurture the lead. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So my trigger application here will be Magic Bricks and my action application will be Google Sheets. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. You can reach here with the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you are going to get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective just to add leads from Magic Bricks to Google Sheets. Here I have selected a folder and here I'm going to click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. So trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response to what happens in your trigger application. So let's say that you have made a payment, then you have received an SMS telling about your debited amount. So this trigger application will be the payment gateway and your action application will be any SMS sending application. Now, once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here my trigger will be magic bricks. Let's click on this. Next, we have the trigger event. So here it will be new leads. Now, this is the event that is going to make this workflow run, which means every time a new lead is received, then this workflow is going to run then. You can see here we have received this webhook URL. Now this URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting Babli Connect and Magic Bricks. So here I'm going to copy the same. Now here you can see it is written to automate lead capture, copy the above webhook URL and configure it in your Magic Bricks account. Reach out to your account manager from Magic Bricks. So here to configure this URL in your Magic Bricks account, you'll have to reach out to your account manager from Magic Bricks and your integration will be activated by the team within a week's time. And once they activate the subscription, leads will start coming to the campaign selected by you. So here I'm going to capture the response. So here you can see we have captured the webhook response. Now you're going to receive a similar kind of response. There may be more labels and values. So here we have received the mobile number, last name, first name, email address, location and area. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add these details in my spreadsheet. So here I'm going to select my action application as Google Sheets. Let's click on this. Next, we have the action event as add new row and here I'm going to click on connect. As we do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with Google Sheets account. So here I have selected add new connection, sign in with Google and now here I have to select the account with which my spreadsheet is connected. So here I have done the same and now Pabli Connect Sheets wants to access my Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow. And as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect are properly integrated. And now as I take you down here, we have to fill in this data. Now, first of all, we have to select the spreadsheet. So I already have created one. Let me show you the same. So this here is the name of the spreadsheet, Magic Bricks Leads. Here we have the following fields, first name, last name, email address, contact number, location and area. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to add this, which is Magic Bricks Leads. Next, we have to select the sheet. So since there was only one sheet, so it has already been populated by the system. Next, we have to add this information. Now, all this information we have received here in the previous step. I have to retrieve the same here. So I'm going to do that with the help of a method which is known as mapping. So I'm going to click on this. You can see the previous step. This is the response. This here is the first name. Let's 
repeat the same process for last name next we need email address then we have the contact number then we have the location so here is the location and then we need the area so this here is the area now this method is known as mapping but why is this important so that every time a new lead is received and you have received a new response that response can be captured here now had i written this information manually in that case this would have become static which means that even on receiving a new response it wouldn't have taken that it would have only taken this manually written data so to avoid this problem we map the information and now i'm going to click on save and send test request and as we do that here we can see we have received the response Let's go and check our spreadsheet and yes here we can see that we have received the details here. This means that our integration here is a complete success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Magic Bricks where the event was new leads. Then our action application was Google Sheets where the event was to add new row. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.